today is finally the day we're gonna be throwing on the new wheels for the FRS. So we got them right here. I've been teasing them a lot in the previous videos. Right next to them, we got the new wheels for the STI. Don't worry guys, I did not forget about this video or anything. The video of putting the new wheels on the STI is coming very soon. But yeah, for today's video, we're gonna be focusing on this stack right here. The current wheel setup we're running right now on the FRS is the Workmeister S1s. Now these wheels right here actually belong on the 2022 BRZ, which is right there. But yeah, with only having one set, we literally just had to switch back and forth from the FRS to the BRZ, whichever car we wanna run these wheels on. But today, each car is finally gonna get their own set of wheels. loaded up into the truck they look so freaking good i cannot wait to show you guys and as you guys saw we took off two of my meisters off of the frs I actually gotta get those tires flipped because they're super super bald got a lot of camber wear on those so we're gonna flip those as well as switch out some of the tires on the new wheels for the frs previous owner actually freaking destroyed the tires that are currently on it so we're gonna get them swapped out with some tires that i had laying around actually meteor tires i feel like they're gonna fit the wheel like really good because it kind of is like a track wheel because let's head to the tire shop right now and uh, let's get this whole tire situation situated. All right, you guys ready to see the new wheels? Last chance, comment down below what you guys think they are. But yeah, let's go ahead and check them out. So good. I've been trying to find these wheels for like months. <laughs> Crazy, we finally got them. So we lost our daylight, so this is our little studio setup right here. What do you guys think? These are the new wheels for the FRS. Guys, like I said, I've been trying to find these wheels for so freaking long. Always wanted a set of TE37Vs for the FRS. Yeah, guys, these came out of nowhere. Super happy on this purchase. Uh, so these are, like I said, TE37Vs. So you can say the wide body spec ones. Uh, a lot of people with wide bodies run these, you know, because they are so freaking wide. The specs on these, from what I can remember, so these two are the fronts. These are 18 by 10, negative 25. And then moving on to the rears, as you can see, they're much wider. Dude, the lip is freaking massive. Now these are 18 by 11, negative 35. So much more aggressive offset than the Meisters that I had. Unfortunately with these, we're still gonna have to run a spacer. Cause guys, I think this kit right here is three and a half inches wider than stock body. So this kit is freaking wide, the V3 one. But yeah, I'm excited, dude. I've been trying to find these wheels for so freaking long and now looking at it, I think we're gonna take the sticker off in a little bit because it doesn't really match with anything on the car. But yeah, let's go and test fit these wheels. Um, I'm gonna start off with throwing a 20 mil on the back, probably a 15 on the front. And um, yeah, let's just get to testing. All right, so this is actually a 20 millimeter. It's not, honestly, it's not really where I want it to be. I can already tell once you put it on the ground, it's definitely gonna sink in. That's just how like the wheel works, but I don't know. Definitely needs like probably five millimeters more. Yeah, we're gonna have to add like five more millimeters or something. <laughs> I think this will do it right here, guys. 28 millimeter spacer. This is how it looks. I think 
that's gonna be good. Dude, that looks so freaking sick. Literally, these wheels match perfect with my tail lights. With the clear toms, dude, that looks so sick. 18 by 11, negative 35. We have a 28 millimeter spacer on it right now. So 35 plus 28, that's what? 43, 63, right? So the offset right now is technically a negative 63 millimeters. Did I do the math right? If I had no spacers on, an 18 by 11 negative 63 wheel would fit just like this. That's kind of how you calculate offset with spacers and wheels. What do you guys think of the little night setup? <laughs> Honestly, I never, never film at night simply because of this reason. I don't have like proper lighting. We had to take out this freaking big old LED. But do you guys dig like nighttime vlogging? If so, I'll invest in like multiple lights and stuff. But I never, ever film at night really. I don't like it because the lighting is just off over here. We got the custom tail lights from Lonzo. Jason literally got some clear tails too. Same, like I guess modes or whatever you call it in the tail lights is the Tom. That literally made no <laughs> sense at all. <laughs> what in the world? Jason just got his clears done by Lonzo. Same guy that did the clear toms on the FRS. What are you doing? Messing with all the show mode? Yeah, I'm trying to see which one looks the best. Looks Oh, most... you're trying to make police lights. Yeah, it looks, looks most p police. Jeez. Most p p <laughs> I feel like I never show you guys like this on camera. I feel like the one I always do in my Instagram reels is this one right here. Kind of like the cotton candy theme. But um, as you can see, like there's so much space for more show modes. Got the cop lights. Jeez, <laughs> let me put mine on. Yours are better because you have different Jeez. Yeah, that looks so good. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. It's the same. Nah, I don't know, it just looks... Bro, that's freaking crazy. Like, yours look more cop-like. <laughs> yeah, we can get big trouble freaking drive around like this. Yours are sick too, because it like covers the whole like light. Lava lamp? <laughs> that's what this one called, lava lamp. Ooh, those are nice. 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 That kind of matches the wrap. Ooh, I like that one. I think I like line dance the best. That's this one. That actually looks really sick. You're getting a little real right now behind the scenes. But yeah, you guys get the point. This thing has so many features. I could literally talk about this for like an hour. There's so much you can do with these lights. Parked up with my boba. Just wanted to show you guys the wheels one last time before we end off today's video. I know it's super, super dark out, but literally tomorrow, we're gonna be ripping off the bags and we're going back to coilovers. So this is kind of like the last view with the bags aired out on the TEs. Actually, I lied. Probably in the coilover video, I'm obviously gonna show you guys again, but yeah, the bags are coming off, guys. Part of the new wheel setup, we are going back to coilovers. Also, with that being said, we are reusing the rear bag setup for the STI. The STI, the WX, and the STI, I believe the 2015 and up, literally share the same exact suspension com suspension components for the rear. So that's kind of cool. I'm gonna be using the bags on the FRS to put on the STI. The only only thing is I had to buy new bags for the front because they are different but first we got to get this thing on coilovers 
And uh, I'm, I'm just loving overall this wheel setup. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. This wheel setup matches really good with the with the clear taillights as well as the carbon trunk. Unintentionally, we kind of matched with the headlights as well. We did just throw these on recently. Those headlights actually go very well with the wheel setup too. Overall, I'm digging it guys. It came out so good. I'm sorry for filming a lot at nighttime in this video. Sometimes it's so hard fitting the entire video during the daylight since it gets dark so quick now. But um, yeah, I feel like majority of this video was filmed at night. This is like perfect right now. It's so cold outside and I got a hot milk tea with boba, it's so good.